Hey guys, it's been about three weeks since my last video. Um, I've been seeing my physiotherapist every week. She's been doing a lot of manual therapy on my calves and on my Achilles and also just my ankle because my ankle really had pretty limited range of motion being stuck in the boot. Like when I was in the boot, I would try to shift my ankles left and right just to get a little bit of, of work in there, but it honestly like kept it still pretty tight. So every time I went to see her, she would be able to kind of just like twist and just kind of mobilize my ankle a bit more and sometimes I would hear cracks. Um, so not cracks in terms of the bone, but just like popping in between my joints, the air bubbles. So I definitely think that was really helpful. Um, I didn't feel any pain through the whole process when I was working with her. She was stretching it a little bit and on my left side when I did do some of the same same kind of work and I probably did the physio later on too, I definitely felt some pain. Like I felt like, it wasn't like a, a stretching pain, it felt like it was like weak, like I felt like it, it could tear. Um, so I eased up on my left side, but this time around on my right side, um, it just felt very strong from the beginning. Um, so that was a, a good sign. Um, I'll let you take a look at the wound right now and then you'll be able to see how it's looking. So this is at the end of week nine right now. Um, I didn't have as much time to keep up with the two weeks or two weeks per video. So this one's going to be three weeks out. Um, so I'll show you that now. So as you can see, it's starting to look pretty good. I still have a bit of like the right incision on my heel is still kind of healing up and it is a bit sore. So it's just taking a bit of time. Okay, um, so based on my early weight bearing protocol, and I, I have a printout right here, weeks seven, eight, nine. So essentially, um, I just took out my last heel lift, but every single week from week seven to week eight to week nine, at the end of each of those weeks, I basically removed one of these heel lifts. So you start at the very bottom, and so that last video I had, we already took out this one, the very bottom one, the first one's gone. And then at the end of week seven, I took out this one. Week eight, I took out this one. And then at the end of this week, week nine, I took out this final one. And this is just a, this is just like a, almost like a foam insert, like a shoe insert that I use that I put over top of these. I can't remember if this came with the actual air cast boot or not, um, but yeah. Oh, actually no, this one did. Before I had another gel one on top. That's what I was mistaken for. But yeah, you should have this this as well with your boot. So this is the last heel lift. Um, I would say at the, whenever I removed a heel lift and I put my foot back in the boot, I definitely felt a bit of a stretch as I went and sat in the boot. But then as soon as you tie the boot tight, it feels very secure. So it's not allowing yourself to stretch past that point. So you're just gonna get this consistent stretch throughout the day as long as you're wearing the boot. Um, I would say the first day or two when you remove a heel lift, your Achilles is gonna feel a little bit more sore because it's, it's gonna be stretched the entire day you have your boot on. I try to take my boot off, you know, maybe half the time, but it's also not good to have your boot off entirely if you're just sitting on the couch all day because you do want the heel lifts to stretch your, or you do want the boot to be such a stretch your Achilles. So if your boot is off and your foot's just kind of resting there, you're not really stretching your Achilles. So you want to put the boot on, take that heel lift off, and then basically sit, step till the very, to the bottom of it, you'll have your heel lifts, but then that will give you that stretch. And then just stay in the boot. Um, like I said, the first day or two is a little bit sore. And then afterwards, um, I'd say from day three to day seven, it starts gradually getting better, and better, till you almost don't even remember that you took out a heel lift. And then essentially at the end of day seven, you're ready for removing another heel lift. So you just go through that process until um, you basically remove all of them. So at the end of week nine, you should have all four heel lifts gone. So that's where I am right now. Um, and taking a look at the protocol, once you get to around this point, um, it says you're basically able to wean off the boot. So it usually takes about two to five days um, and Elsa says, can return to crutches or cane as needed during this weaning period. Um, so I haven't taken the boot off. You know, I'm probably gonna do it over the next two to five days just because um, I just took out the last heel lift. So I am already getting a bit of a stretch just being flat um, in the boot. I have tried very carefully, kind of just like standing without my boot on. Um, 
And yeah, my foot and my ankle and everything just still feels very, very weak. So I'm not gonna risk anything yet. I'm gonna just stay in the boot for another two to five days. In my next video, I'll be able to show you my progression on getting out of the boot. Because getting out of the boot is definitely a very dangerous moment throughout this process. Um, so you wanna be very careful. And it even states that in the protocol. If you go back to my week one, I think week one or week two video, you'll be able to see the protocol I've uploaded there. Um, this is definitely the more dangerous part because any sudden loading of the Achilles, like you trip or you step up the stairs or you slip something and if you don't have your boot on, it, it, it is very likely to result in a re-rupture and you don't want to put all the, like, the two or three months of surgery and physio up till now to waste and like re-rupture. So be careful, take a little bit extra time if you need um, and then I'll be able to give you an, an update on my next video on how you should slowly wean off the boot and be able to start walking again. Um, so I've been doing the same physio exercises as the last video. Um, a few things that I've added is just that, you know, whenever you take a heel lift out, you have a bit more flexibility. So while I'm in the boot, I will take off the front straps. So it kind of looks like this. And then I'll just be standing here and I'll go on my toes and then I'll put a weight on my knee, like weight on my knee and kind of like push it down and then try to resist it with my Achilles. So don't try to lock your ankles up because you can resist a lot if you lock it up. But if you let your Achilles just kind of like, you're letting the strength of the Achilles and calf tension hold it up. So as you push down, your Achilles will eventually get tired and it can't hold it, it'll give out and it'll just step, step down. But you will have the heel lifts in here depending on what week you're in. So when you step down to the maximum, it's still controlled. You're never gonna go past neutral position, which is dangerous, don't wanna do that right now. You just wanna go to where your heel is allow you to go. So that whole range of motion from your heel lift to your toes fully pointed, you wanna just keep working that. And it's gonna be sore and it's gonna be difficult, but you constantly wanna do that as you take those heel lifts out. Um, so yeah, that's about it. There's not as much to update. Um, you know, taking the heel lifts out once per week, it's really just keeping that consistency, making sure you're still doing your physio in between that, making sure you stay in your boot um, during those weeks so you are getting that stretch on your Achilles. Um, and that's about it. So I think the exciting video is gonna be coming up next when you're finally able to take the boot off. So that's like the next progression. You know, the first is getting rid of your crutches or the knee scooter and you're able to walk and then have your hands free to do things. This next progression is gonna be just taking, getting rid of the boot. So you'll be able to walk with shoes again and you'll actually look like a normal bipedal. So keep doing your physio exercises, keep you know using the band to go left and right, kind of stretch it up, stretch it down. Be careful when you're stretching it up, obviously, you never wanna go past neutral position, um, but if you wanna do a little bit of a stretch to just kind of move it around, keep doing that, follow the physio, um, and then next week we'll have some really interesting updates. All right, I'll see you guys later.